everybody. My name is Pat and I am the Leather Lady LLC and we are going to talk about fringe today. We're not going to talk about cutting fringe. That's a whole nother um, topic. Just something really simple and quick. So say you've got a purse that ha already has fringe on it, but you want to dress it up a little bit. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually twist fringe. And I was like, how do you do that? There's, it's super, super simple. So we'll give you the tools, what you're going to need, and then um, we're going to show you how to do it. So here we go. So what you're going to need is some fringe of some type. Okay, so this is just a black fringe. It's um, basically a pearl black leather, really thin, um, not too heavy there. I got a, a little piece of buckskin. Um, I had some buckskin deer hide, so there's that there. Um, you're going to need some type of fringe. Now, if you already have it on your purse or your bag or whatever, and you want to twist it and, and fancy it up, that's okay too. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you need to make fringe, you'll have to watch my next video, which I'll be making shortly, about how to cut and make fringe. All right? But you're going to need some type of um, roll. Uh, I use a rolling knife when it comes to cutting fringe. It makes life a lot easier. But you can use either a box knife, you can use a head knife, um, you can use a round knife, those kind of things. Um, I wouldn't use an X-Acto knife because that'll really dull real, real quick. Um, you'll need a ruler to make fringe. But uh, as far as those kind of things, today we're not going to talk about that. So what we're going to talk about is how do we twist our fringe. So fringe, you, when you make it or whatever's on your bag, um, it probably is a little bit wider than this um, and that is okay I like to make my fringe just a little bit wider uh, that just makes it a little bit easier but all you're going to do is take your fringe now if it's on your bag just lay your bag down and go ahead and just lay it put something on it sort of heavy okay so the only thing you're gonna need for this little project is this agua it agua agua water <laughs> in Japanese it's mizu we need some mizu we need some water um, and that's the only thing that you're going to need so you're going to lay it out and you're going to go ahead and here I'll just do these for example here's a finished one that is twisted okay and you and this is the pretty side okay and I'm going to show you something even more fancier here in a second so this is the twisted so how do we do that and so we just take our fringe and we put it in the water just get it soaking soaking wet okay i'm gonna show you this here get it all soaking wet now my hands i've been working really hard with a lot of black leather today i've, I've projects like no tomorrow lately and they're all in black so um excuse my hands and if this gets dirty it's because of that but this is just for demonstration Okay, so, so you have it all wet, so if you've got a bag, just dip it in some water to where you want to start the fringe, okay? And then you're going to get something heavy and put it on the, the back side of it. So that's all you need the water for, okay? You need something to hold the fringe down, okay? So you're going to do that. Oops, look at this. I don't have one completely cut. So let me go ahead and cut that. Again, I did this for demonstration. So all we're going to do, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you guys can see, is we're going to just take this and you can either twist it this way. Flies get out here. I'm fighting flies all day today. You can twist it this way. Not a problem. See how nice that twist is? Or you can just twist it the opposite if you want more of the rough out showing. Okay. But it's still going to just be twisted either way. So you do that. And then you hold it, okay? Then you grab the next one. Oh, dear, we got another one. My gosh, what's going on with you today, Patty? Okay, so you're going to get it to where you want it again. You're going to hold it. You're going to grab this next one. Twist, twist, twist. Does this take time? Yep, it does. So if you bought a bag with Twisted and you're wondering why it was so expensive, this is why. Okay, you're going to hold that one next. Okay, and you can do this until you can, um, you can actually, I do probably three, four at a time, whatever. 
and you twist it to where you want it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a clip. Now these you can get at the dollar store. You can get them wherever. They're just cheap little clips. They're, they're paper clips, okay? And what you want to do is clip the end. Is what you want to do later is maybe you want to have a fancier um, end to them. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. So you'll just do this, all right? And then... You're going to do that until they're all done. Now, if they start drying out, get yourself a squirt bottle, squirt them again. Keep just keeping them wet because what you're doing is you're molding the leather. All right. You're molding the leather. Okay. So then I'm going to take... I got big clips, I got little clips, I got honking size clips, it depends on my project. All right, so here you go. So then you're just gonna let those dry. Now, if you have a way to hang them, because this weight is gonna pull them down, um, you've gotta be careful because if you have too much weight, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch them out and look like that. You want a nice bouncy, a nice bouncy curl, okay? So I would just leave those until they're dry, okay? And that's how, that's it, that's all. That's all it takes to make these fringe, this fancy little fringe. That's why it's expensive is because it takes a lot of time to do this, especially if you got a large bag or if you're doing shafts or chinks, um, that's gonna be also. Now there's another thing too that you can do. So I have these already curled. I would normally do it in this phase here. So a lot of the times you can take, this is a heavier um, leather, okay? You can use a little bit heavier and then you can use a thinner, like a pig skin or a goat skin, which is very, very thin to give it another color. Woo! Yes, you can add another color. And what, why, why do we want to do that? It really pops, guys. If you go and watch the rodeo guys and you watch how they have the different color fringe, you look at it and it pops. It gives it really that special, special look. So you would just do the same thing. Now, they have to be the same size of, of, now this isn't, see, so this isn't, this may not work um, because I just did this really quick for demonstration. So what we would normally do is do it in this phase, do them together, but you would just take and twist these. Let me see if I can untwist one because usually it's hard because now they're, they're being molded. So you would just take it and then you would have a double color. So it's really cool to have like a red and white, a black and red, a black and white, um, things of that nature. Okay, this one's gonna show that. But you'll get the idea. Um, let's see if we can do it the other way. So do it this way so that you have both of them popping. So you have both smooth sides popping. So you can be creative in all kinds of ways of twisting your fringe, okay? So I did add here, not one. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna twist it. So now you've got both the shiny, but like I said again, this is not gonna look like I really want it to because I don't have, um, This is when, like I said, it's really hard once they get twisted. But you can see how, how nice it looks. Isn't that awesome? That's it, guys. That's easy. Easy peasy. I have some black that I would probably, wouldn't that look sharp? You have some black here. With the now this is thinner so it's not going to be because like I said it's be about the same size. Yeah. But you'll get the idea of the different mixture of colors. Okay. So you can do all kinds of creative things. That's it. That's twisting your print. You can do it yourself, just make sure you're wet. What you know, we'll get the water 
um, as wet as you can, get the fringe as wet as you can, and then it's gonna last. And sometimes, you know, this is still a little damp. So yeah, this one straightened out. However, once you do that, then you can actually, um, once it stays there, it'll stay, okay? So you can use it with thin leather. You don't wanna get a too thick of leather um, just because then you're not gonna be able to twist. Like saddle string is way too thick for that. Um, so just get yourself some nice, really maybe three, four ounce um, type of leather and do that. All right. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was fun. And I hope you add it to your bag. If you do add it to your bag or a project, please comment, send a picture. I would love to see what you're doing. All right. And then don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I just got done doing a video about blood knots. This would be really cool to do as well. This is a blood knot. Watch that video and I hope you join. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, take care everybody. Walk in absolute truth and love and we'll see you on the next video.